we're asked to solve the given linear equation in one variable. For the first step, we will simplify both sides of the equation. To simplify an equation means to eliminate parentheses and combine like terms on both sides of the equation. Looking at the equation, notice how the right side does not simplify because there are no parentheses or like terms. The left side does simplify. We can eliminate the parentheses by distributing two thirds. Because we are distributing a fraction, let's show the two products. We first have two thirds times nine x and then minus two thirds times 12. And this is equal to eight plus two x. Because both products involve a fraction, let's write nine x as a fraction and 12 as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we will simplify. Notice here, nine and three share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and three threes and nine. We now have two times three x, which is six x, minus, again, simplifying before multiplying, three and 12 share a common factor of three. There is one three and three and four threes and 12. This is now two times four, which is eight. We have the equation six x minus eight equals eight plus two x. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation and the constant term on the other. And because we have variable terms on both sides and constants on both sides, we will add or subtract to collect the variable terms on one side and add or subtract to collect the constants on the other side. Because we have six x on the left and two x on the right, let's collect the x terms on the left side of the equation. So looking at the right side of the equation, we need to add or subtract to undo plus two x, which means for the next step, we subtract two x on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, six x minus two x is four x. The left side simplifies to four x minus eight. Four x minus eight is equal to, on the right side, two x minus two x is zero, which is why we subtracted two x on both sides. The right side is now just eight. We still need to add or subtract to isolate the variable term and collect the constants on the right side, which means the next step is to undo this minus eight by adding eight to both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, negative eight plus eight is zero. We now have the equation four x equals on the right side, eight plus eight is 16. Now that we've isolated the variable term on one side and the constant term on the other side, we now multiply or divide to isolate x or solve the equation for x. Because four x means four times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by four. Simplifying on the left, notice four divided by four simplifies to one, one times x is x, equals on the right side, 16 divided by four is equal to four. We now have the solution to the equation. The solution is x equals four which means if we substitute four for x in the original equation, it must satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's take the time to check our solution. Going back to the original equation, we will now substitute four for x. This gives us two thirds times the quantity nine times four minus 12 equals eight plus two times four. And now we simplify both sides of the equation on the left, we simplify inside the parentheses first. We multiply before subtracting. Nine times four is 36. We have two thirds times the quantity 36 minus 12 equals on the right side. We multiply before adding. Two times four is eight. The right side simplifies to eight plus eight. Back to the left, simplifying inside the parentheses. 36 minus 12 is 24. We have two thirds times 24 is equal to, on the right, eight plus eight is 16. Going back to the left, we multiply. Remember, as a fraction, 24 has a denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying, three and 24 share a common factor of three. There is one three and three, and eight threes and 24. On the left, we have two times eight, which is 16. 16 equals 16 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.